in the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today I wish you a blessed and holy New Year to 2021. The feast we give solemnity today is the feast of the Holy Family and is a good opportunity for me to wish and give you the best wishes for the New Year. And today's feast has the scope and the purpose to honor the hidden life of our Lord Jesus Christ in company of Mary and Joseph. The nicest, the nice picture painting which has been shown to earth is the one ended of the Holy Family of and from Nazareth. There we find together Jesus, the splendor of the glory of the Father and the picture of, the, of his substance. Mary, secondly, the Immaculate Virgin, predestinated before all centuries to feed from her virginal womb, the one who feeds to all which gets life. Joseph, the hello of the purity of Mary and the chosen instrument by the divine providence to protect the virginity of Mary. Let us honor today, therefore, the Holy Family. Let us love Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Nothing more legitimate is than the devotion to the Holy Family. And let's take apart Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Jesus first, he is the Son of God, the second person of the Holy Trinity, adorable, being only one and the same God with the Father and the Holy Spirit of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, he owns all perfections which delight angels and which will make our beatitudes in heaven. He is the Son of God who then put on our nature in order to suffer for us, expiating for our sins. Also uh, to teach us by his words and his examples through the gospel that we can read daily. Jesus is a divine work of art from the divine hands. He is the admirable complement of all the works of God. Perfect God, but also perfect man. His acts have an infinite value. And he died for us to save us by his passion. He took a body to be like us, but without sin. In his soul are all the treasures of the wisdom and science, all the plenitude of grace. His heart is an ocean of love. His body formed, shaped by the Holy Ghost, and is ornated by of the glories of his resurrection, shines as a sun in the sky, where beatitudes of our eyes will be to contemplate him. He is the eternal object of complacencies of his celestial Father. To his name, to this name, all knees bound in heaven, on earth, and in hells. Jesus deserves, therefore, our adoration and those of all creatures. Second, the Holy Virgin Mary comes. She is the most perfect creature among all creatures, the one without resemblance to God's eyes. She alone was preserved from the original sin. The archangel with due reverence tells her she is full of grace by his salutation to Mary, the Angelus, the Annunciation Feast. Beloved, the heart uh, preferred as elected woman by God, the Father. She was the spouse of the Holy Ghost and by divine operation became the mother of God. Let us contemplate the queen of the world. All creatures serve her while obeying, obeying to the Trinity. The church renders a worship to her which is higher than the one given to angels 
unto saints. Why? Because she is above them by dignity and credit to be as no other one the mother of God. And finally, there is Saint Joseph, the putative father of Jesus Christ, here on earth, the chief of the Holy Family. He is her, uh, the, heir, the heir of David and uh, of the kings of Judas. Saint Joseph is pursued, seen as the just man, the putative father of the Son of God, bigger than man. Verbum caro factum est. We just celebrate now, till now, again, today, the blessed uh, feast of nat the Nativity of Christ. We are in its time until the 31st of January, when uh, it's going to start a new liturgical time with the Septuagesima uh, feast on uh, Sunday. On this day, on the 31st, uh, before the 31st Sunday, we would have to uh, remove the creep from our churches and houses. Saint Joseph is also like the guardian and the witness of the virginity of the mother of God and of Christ. He is the confidant of the divine secrets. He is associated with the work of redemption of human civilization. He is the one to whom Jesus and Mary obeyed on earth as to their chief. It is the reason why the Roman pontiffs uh, declared him as a patron of the universal church and because of his credit and I credit toward Jesus, toward Mary. The worship of the Holy Family takes all duties together toward Jesus, toward Mary, toward Joseph. The main object is Jesus hidden in his life. To him alone, the adoration, yes, the adoration because he is God and the Son of God the second person of the Holy Trinity. It will be impious that it becomes equal to Joseph and Mary. The worship toward Holy Family is all the most what is legitimate to be done. God gathers the most noble people to honor them and the most saint of earth and heaven. Jesus was always adored in the church and we owe him a lot. Mary venerated from all the faithful as mother of God, and then Joseph canonized by the gospel itself, whom Esset Justus, as it was a just man, is by, uh, therefore, by consequence, always honored by Christendom, who always rendered a worship to the saints. And to convince us St. Francis de Sales was saying, this family was only mode of three people who represent the Holy Trinity mystery and the adorable. Let us give therefore frequent homage to the adorable Trinity in heaven, to God the Father, to God the Son, to God the Holy Ghost. Let us honor also this Trinity on earth which dwells amongst us, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Let us mark these three names in our hearts with golden letters. Let us uh, do uh, so and uh, say those celestial names, pronounce them often, write them also, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Let it be the first words taught to the babies at birth, after birth. Let it be the first words also repeat, uh, repeated often, these names many times, these sacred names, and so they be again on our lips at our last times of life. His Holiness the Pope Leo XIII praised the worship made to the Holy Family and established a feast in his, its honor which we celebrate today. The one we are celebrating today all around in the universe. Nothing more um, legitimate than this worship to the Holy Family. There is a brief that he wrote uh, called Nemin and Pujit, which you can uh, look at on the internet to uh, see how uh, the Pope were, uh, was uh, expressing to the people in each ranks of the social uh, society, because the Holy Family represents our model 
for the family, which is the cell, a basic cell, important cell through matrimony, which is one of the most beautiful and important sacraments with all the orders, because we, through matrimony we get the basic cell of the society and we build society through family, which is a, a lot attacked even today by our enemies. And also uh, the holy orders, because through the holy orders we get all the sacraments. So let us say to the final words, Laudentur Jesus Maria et Joseph, uh, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.